Morning chat time, it's May 5th or Cinco de Mayo, so the topic is going to be alcohol. A lot of people have been asking me questions about this. How do you track macros and calories from alcohol? Do you drink if you're dieting? Is it bad for you? I say everything in moderation, but to answer the question on how to track calories from alcohol, you just need to take the total number of calories in the drink you're consuming and divide it by either four, so subtract it from your carbs, or by nine and subtract it from your fats. So if you take, for instance, let's say a bottle of Bud Light, it's around 110 calories or so, four grams of carbs, one gram of protein, zero grams of fat. I don't know if these numbers are right, but they're around there. So four grams of carbs at four calories per gram is 16. One gram of protein at four calories per gram is four. That equals 20. 20 calories, so where are the other 90 coming from to get 110 in that beer? They're coming from alcohol. So in order to track that, since MyFitnessPal won't have a macro breakdown for alcohol, you simply subtract it from carbs or fat. So that 110 calories, let's just use 100 for a round number. If you have a 100 calorie beer and you wanna track it, you can divide 100 by four and you can get 25. So you can track that as 25 grams of carbs per beer, or you could divide it by nine and track it at around 11 grams of fat. So you're subtracting 11 grams of fat from your total macros for each beer you have, or 25 grams of carbs, or a combination of the both if you feel like having a few beers and that's the way your macro split works. If you're having, let's say, a shot of vodka or a vodka drink, and it's got one serving of vodka in it, which is around 70 calories, you could divide that 70 by four and you'll get around 17 and a half. So 17 and a half grams of carbs per serving of vodka, or you could divide it by nine and you'll get just under eight grams of fat. So you pick and choose where you wanna subtract it from. Uh, my recommendation, listen, if you're having a few drinks and you're not competing and you're not getting judged on your physique and you wanna have some fun with the boys or the girls or whatever the hell it is that you do, then don't worry about it. Have a few drinks, enjoy, and move forward. Don't start inputting and start doing math for every single drink that you consume. If you're a lot more serious about tracking your macros and you want to, track the alcohol, then fine, do so. I just told you how to do it. Or you can watch my video right here that really goes into detail about it. But what it comes down to, have fun, guys. If you're not competing, if you're not getting on stage, it's really not that serious. Let's start the video. <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you, Maddie? Not too good. How's it going? Good, good, good. Hey. Hey, what's good. up? Hey. What's up, Danae? How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right, so I am fired up after that phone call with Christian and Danae talking about future plans with Alphalete, some traveling in the next few months, and just big things throughout the rest of this year that I can't wait to share with you all. And I'm incredibly grateful to be a part of this team. And I just know that 2016 is going to be epic and it's only going to get better as time goes on. So I'm really looking forward to next week. I will be at Body Power at the Alphalete booth. I'm not sure of the exact schedule, but I believe we should be getting an itinerary soon. And I will share that with you guys so you know exactly the dates, the times, the booth number, all that information so I can meet you guys because that's what I'm looking forward to most. But for this commentary, I wanted to address a few of your questions. Right before this training session, I actually posted on Snapchat for you all to snap me back some of your questions and topics that you would like me to cover, and over a 100 of you snapped me. So thank you for that. And if you're not following me on there, make sure to get on that as I am very active and responsive. But there seem to be a bunch of questions about balancing college and lifting, and I understand that now because it's coming up on finals week for a lot of people, or these next few weeks you have finals and it's nearing the end of the semester, and my best advice is to really work on time management and prioritizing everything in order of importance. So you guys might've seen in my last video or two videos ago, at the end of it, I talked about, I guess you can call it mind mapping or whiteboarding and writing a whole bunch of shit down, getting your thoughts onto paper so you could visualize everything and then organize it. So when I was in college and it was near the end of the semester, I was always writing things out, writing out lists of stuff that needed to get done. And then I would organize them with the most important things at the top and believe it or not some people might think this is crazy but I put the gym near the top of that list for me because that was something that helped me relieve stress it helped me focus and it was just a part of my day so 
I made sure to do that first thing in the morning. And I understand that for some people, it's not going to fit your schedule, you're not a morning person, or you're staying up late studying, so it's hard for you to get up in the morning and still get enough sleep. But if you can get to bed just a little bit earlier, maybe if you play video games, you watch TV at night, whatever it is, just cut something like that out get to bed earlier so you can wake up earlier, you might find yourself to be less stressed throughout the day since you're not thinking about lifting when you have other stuff that needs to get done. So that's kind of the way I approach it. I remember if I didn't get to the gym first thing in the morning, I would be sitting in class thinking, when can I make time for the gym? How am I going to fit it in? I still have to study. So if I got it done earlier in the day, it was knocked out and I didn't have to worry about it. So with that said, just try and manage your time, guys. Study your ass off and ace your finals. And then what you gotta do is snap me and let me know how it went. So that's going to conclude this commentary. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And again, make sure to follow me on all social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for your support and we'll talk to you all in the next video. Enjoy the rest of this one, guys. So we're home from the gym now. I just got out of the shower a minute ago, about to eat some dinner and I'm gonna cook up this one right here. A piece of grilled chicken because she's gonna make a grilled chicken Caesar salad. I'm actually going to have lean ground, I don't know if this is ground chicken or turkey, I really don't even know anymore, but I cooked this the other day so I'm going to make burrito or taco salad, something. We leave next week so we did like a small shopping trip uh, last night because we didn't want to get a whole bunch of stuff and then end up throwing it out when we're not here so we tried to just get very simple basic stuff that won't go bad. Maybe we'll go out a few days, hit up Chick-fil-A, hit up Chipotle, Moe's, whatever. Um, no. Moe's? No. Yeah. She's team Moe's. Who gets tacos? Their burritos. Who gets tacos? They're better, they better burritos too. You don't... They fit my macros better. Their chicken tastes better. Their no? chicken's way better. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have much no. more selection. I'll give you that. There's more on the, uh, the burrito bar. More to choose from. Chipotle doesn't have a lot of options, but the food is better. No, I don't think so. It's bland. Bland? Yeah. That means it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna Google it. <laughs> it's not bland. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know about this. But Chick fil A is still up there. Love me some Chick fil A. I love Chick fil A. But anyway. I'm going to make myself some food as well, but let me go uh, fire up that mini grill out there so I can cook her chicken. How would you like your breast seasoned? Just salt and pepper. That's it? Only a little bit of pepper though. Salt and pepper. Oh, you want a hot dog too, right? Yeah. And she also asked me to throw on one of these hot dogs, 97% fat free. So these are legit, they're only 45 calories. We got one fat, two carbs, six protein, and they taste just like regular hot dogs. So if you guys can find these, I definitely recommend picking them up. So we're all set. This is Brittany's chicken Caesar salad right there. That's the chicken we grilled up. The hot dog, she likes her hot dogs burnt. She actually would like it more burnt than that, but that's our meal. This is my meal right here. We're gonna split those green beans, but what I got in here, first of all, pro tip, when you guys make a burrito, if you're making it at home, toast it. Just put it on a pan for a little while. It will hold it together, it will seal everything in, and you get a little bit of crunch on it. So we got that. And then what you see here that looks absolutely disgusting is what's inside this burrito. So it's that ground chicken or turkey, I don't even know. The ground something that I cooked up, the ground protein. It's got shredded lettuce, some avocado, some sriracha, and I forgot what else I put in there. But pretty much ingredients that you would put in a taco salad or a burrito, whatever was left over, I put on these two corn thins. So I found these in the store last week, and they're legit. They're kind of like rice cakes, so you can see that's what it looks like. And the macros are, for two of them, it's eight carb, one protein, zero fat. So I like, as you guys can tell, I like things crunchy. So toasted a burrito, got these crunchy things, got a bag of Quest chips right here. And that's what I'm going to eat with, I don't know if this is my favorite soda, but it's up there. The Diet Coke with lime. And remember the conversation we had earlier this morning about alcohol? My recommendation, clear alcohol, so like vodka, mixed with diet sodas. So club soda, or Diet Coke with lime, or Pretty Seven Cherry Coke Zero. Something like that. But anyway, we're gonna eat this up, maybe catch up on a YouTube video or something, and then uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys after that. Finally time to start the unboxing. Old computer, 
new computer. And this is what we got. We are all set up. The screen is incredible, the clarity of it. And then that is the other computer I was using. So I had mentioned that this is the, a 2009 iMac. So this one's been pretty beat up. It is really old, you know, it's got this little dent right there, but it still works. It got the job done over the years. And I think I might throw it up there and see if I could do a dual monitor setup. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I did buy this cable right here that should allow me to link it up. So we're gonna test that out and see if it works. All right, so it's late, I'm exhausted, but we got it set up and it works. So this is the new setup for editing and for my office space. So we got the brand new computer here, the older one right there. And I do have the keyboard and mouse still for this computer because it will act as a second display, but I'm also still gonna keep it as a computer. So right now I have it set up for the dual monitors. So if you see this screen here on the right, I could just go ahead and drag it right over it to the left, which is extremely convenient, especially when you're doing video editing or you have a bunch of screens open. Instead of having to do this thing and keep moving screens out of the way to find a screen, you could just go ahead and grab it, drag it over, and you're good to go. You know, if you're just looking at something on one screen and you're working on the other screen, it makes life so much easier. So I'm really excited to have that set up. And then I'll also let Brittany use this other computer. She sometimes edits on the MacBook Pro and it's hard to edit on that small screen. So now she can sit right next to me and I can kind of walk her through everything. So with that said, I'm about to end this video off here. I am absolutely exhausted and I still have some work to do. And I gotta finish editing this up for you guys for tomorrow. So thank you so much for the support. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I wonder what it feel like to do that shit in real life. And now I know I got it. That's the reason no ID has signed me on a dotted, but it's still visionary to the death of me. Yeah, I'm trying to make it, but I gotta find a recipe. Greatest.